What's going on guys? I'm going to be doing another tutorial today. This time it is showing you how to use uh, hair from the create a superstar section on your mods with animations and uh, colored with vertex paint by creating the RAI file you need for your hair. So first we're going to go in and get any just do this real quick. Just grab any RAI from anybody. Does does not matter. Just grab the RAI file you need. Put that on the desktop. Go ahead and throw that just right here. And then we're gonna be going to grab your hair that you want. I'm not going to take my time too much with this just because I want to make this a fast tutorial. So I'm going to just choose the first long hair I see and use that for an example. Let me just back up this real quick. Since I'm going to be testing with Kane, I'm just going to throw some random hair on him. Should be funny. Just go ahead and look for one. You can tell their long hairs by seeing if they have a YCL file. That way you don't have to go through and hit every single one and check if they do not have a YCL file. It's a short hair that doesn't have animations. So go through until you see one that has YCL and then check, see if you want it. I'm not going to take my time with this because I just want to make this quick. So I'm going to use this hair. We're going to grab a couple things here. We're going to grab your hair file. The hair core, extract that from the hair you want. We're going to take the hair YWA, extract that, and we're going to take the YCL and extract that. Those are three files that we'll need to use in a bit, but you're also going to grab the MDL. This will have the skeleton that you need. For the animations let's go ahead and extract that as well grab that and then the textures you'll need is the flow you don't have to do anything to the flow just take that but then you're gonna need the ID you're gonna need the opacity and you're also going to need the root file now once you have these you're ready to create your RAI file. Let's go ahead and restart Steam just so that's ready to show you guys in game. Now you're going to have these three files and you're going to need. Let me just throw these in here real quick. Textures. You can throw the flow file. You don't need to do anything to that in here. And then for these three files I said you'll need, you'll take those and then you're going to be doing some file renaming. You're going to take that and then you're going to copy and paste, but then you're, then you're going to be doing dot hair and make sure you get rid of the dot and put an underscore. That way it's in that format. So you're going to be doing that. For the YCL, you don't need to do that. You just copy paste. And then for this one, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to get rid of the dot do dot hair underscore YWA. So it's like that. It'll be a hair YWA and a hair core YWA file. Those are the two you'll need and the YCL. So once you have that, you're ready to make your RAI texture. First, you're going to need paint.net. That's the only thing I know to be able to make these readable in Photoshop as of right now. You're going to take them. Just put them in your paint and then just save them as a BC3 linear DXT5 DDS format. You can copy these settings here. They're just default settings. Just save them. Go through and save each of them with the same settings. DXT5. And now you'll see that they're viewable and you can open them in Photoshop. The RAI files from 2K. So... These are as well, but they start in, if I would have showed you, they start in the format instead of DXT5, they're A12 
which is not openable in Photoshop for some reason. Go ahead and load mid maps with the RAI file. That way you see this. And then you're going to open each of your files you had before, starting with your ID. And do not load mid maps with these ones. Just load them in one by one. Grab that. Grab your opacity. No mid maps. Grab your root. No mid maps. And then you're going to take your hair ID, control A to select all, control C to copy. Then you're going to go to your red channel on your RAI file and just control V. Paste it. Go to your opacity, control A, control C to copy. Go to the green channel, control V to paste. Then you're going to go to your root, control A, control C. Go to your blue channel and paste it in there. And then this is what you'll have. This will be the result. Something similar to this. The color might not look the same in RGB, but this is what your result should look like. And you're going to save as hair RA, replace, and then DXT5. This one right here. Nothing else. Save that. Take a second, let it load, let it save your file. Once it's done, you can close out Photoshop, throw your RAI in your textures. And now what you're going to do, you can delete all that. You're going to get your attires model that you want to add the hair to. Just go ahead and delete these because you're going to need to make new ones. And then you're going to open up Blender. And you're going to want to import your attires MDL first. So you'll have that. I'll take the uh, towel off just to give a better representation for now. You're going to have your attires MDL. And you're going to import the MDL from your hair model. Boom, you'll see that it's in there with the skeleton perfectly fit. You would, uh, if you want to fit the hair to your model, I guess I can show you that step as well. Let me, uh, might as well. I'll make it real quick just so this isn't a super long video. All right, let's go ahead and load the, now load the base model in. Now, if you want to fit the hair to him, you would select the hair, go to sculpt, and elastic deform, turn your radius up if you want to, or lower it, whatever you need to do, and pull it to fit your model however you want make sure there's no clipping in the head you can also get rid of the lamp per not get rid of it but you are also going to need to rename it to Lambert without the one make sure it's s hair make sure your hair is named hair alpha skinned with m hair and you're gonna wanna Make sure it's fitted how you want it to. I'm not going to take too much time with this because this is just a tutorial. That'll be fine for now. It'll work. So now that you have that, you're going to take your model, get rid of your base model, and you're going to want to name the skeleton with the hair to skeleton without the ones. And you're going to highlight all your items from your skeleton. Highlight your skeleton. Right click. Parent. Clear parent. You'll notice all your attire drops down. That's okay. Delete your skeleton. Now go to this skeleton. Transform. Put it to zero. It'll be all together. Then highlight all your items. And 
the items from that skeleton. You might not actually have to highlight those items. Let's see right now. Parent object. Okay, it worked. And then you will highlight these, drag them in. Skeleton, negative 90 on the rotation. And you'll see that your tire is now joined with the hair from the Create a Superstar model skeleton. Now you will highlight everything again. Make sure everything's named correctly with your exclamation points at the end for entrance only and dollar symbols at the end for in match only. Then select the skeleton, file, export as a MDL. And I'll just name it untitled for now. And then you'll always, I've had an issue sometimes, you'll always want to check. And I hope I honestly, weird, another update. I hope I get this issue right now so I can show you how to fix it just in case it does happen. But you always want to check and make sure that it's saved to the correct skeleton in Blender before going through and baking your files because it could waste your time. See, you'll see it saved to the base model's skeleton. That happens sometimes. It is because uh, the base model was the last one I imported. I should have imported the hair model last, and that problem wouldn't have happened. So to fix this, if that happens to you, just import the hair model again. And I'm going to have to go through the steps I just went through. But I don't have to do it again. I can just unclear these. Parent. Clear object. I can delete these. And you'll be left with your skeleton. Rename it. And then just like before, make sure everything is named correctly. Go through. Clear your parent. Then you can delete your skeleton. Then you're going to want to rotation zero and reparent it drag them back in and negative 90 and then this will work export mdl desktop new hair export and then I'll show you that it worked. Blender. We'll open it up just to show you that it did indeed work. File. Import. MDL. New hair. And you'll see that it is now attached to the skeleton that you need for the Create a Superstar hair. So now, one thing I forgot to do that I will now do because I'm an idiot is you will need to vertex paint it a color. I don't know why I did not explain that earlier. I'm just going to set all vertexes to just black and it'll work. Just go ahead and do that. And I'm going to re-export it just because I forgot to do that. I'm going to just export it over that model. And then we're done. We're going to put it in our folder with all the other files. Rename it to the correct name. Open up your MTLs editor. Go to, this is not it. Go to your model. Open it and go to enable cells edit and then change Lambert to anything else. It does not have to be what I named it, just anything. Make it not say Lambert and then save it as same attire. And then these are all the f final files you'll have and you'll have your flow and your REI. Go ahead and throw that now into your folder your mods folder and then you will bake it.
game and show you the end result. I hope this wasn't too long of a tutorial for you guys. Tried to keep it short and sweet. our model up in game in this instant we replaced k08 when we load in i am gonna have to skip entrances because i don't want to get copyrighted for the song but when we are in game you will see that you not now have <laughs> fully colored and fully animated hair on your model it looks very funky because i did not take time to sculpt it to his head but you'll see that your end result is colored and fully animated hair from the creative superstar section and there is your final product hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.